from the Independent Stadium, Shreveport, Louisiana. This is the 1982 Independence Bowl, featuring the Kansas State Wildcats in their first ever bowl appearance against the Badgers of Wisconsin. Wisconsin has elected to kick off, and Kansas State will receive Wisconsin kicking with about a 25 mile an hour wind. And we are just about ready to go. Gladham the kicker drives Ivan Pearl back deep. And the tailback, Yose Framo, another Samoan, will be the tailback. One setback for Kansas State and Daryl Dickey going upstairs on first down. And he's going to be sacked inside the 10 by Mike Harrington. Loss of 10 on the play. The delay to Framo to the 11-yard line. Number 50 made the tackle. Waiting a face mask call against Wisconsin and a break for the Wildcats. Here's your offensive alignment. Daryl Dickey, Yossi Framo, and Masi Tuluo. Some great names for play-by-play -play announcers. Mike Wallace, <laughs> then Mike Cox, along with Eric Mack, the wide receivers. Cox the tight end. Here's the offensive line. Doug Hoppick, Amos Donaldson, Jim Kennedy, Tom Munaz, and Damian Johnson. A pro set for Kansas State. Toluo and Framo in the backfield. Again the draw. This is Toluo across the 20-yard line. Third down and six. For Kansas State, wide side of the field is to the right. Man in motion is Eric Mack. And there's a penalty marker thrown as Daryl Dickey looking makes the connection across the 25, and I think they'll call it back. Dependence ball. We're getting a legal motion call against Kansas State. Here's the Wisconsin defensive line, and they are active. Daryl Sims, Tim Crumry, and Mark Shoemate, the interior three. The backers are Kyle Borland, Jody O'Donnell, Jim Melka, and Brad Grabo. The secondary, two good ones, David Greenwood and Matt Vandenboom, but also Richard Johnson and Clint Sim, averaging 41 yards per kick. Kansas State's first series, ending up by punting the football into the wind, and a fair catch called for at the 45-yard line. Wisconsin with their first offensive series in good field position at their own 46-yard line. By formation, quarterback Randy Wright, a junior at 6'2", 194 pounds and a long count. Perhaps an audible. Wright looking to the sidelines and a pass is almost picked off, off a deflection. The setbacks Mark Harrison, the fullback, and Troy King, the tailback. Randy Wright back to throw to the sidelines and overthrew the intended receiver, Tim Strucker. The announcers of this telecast, by the way, are employees of the Mislu Television Network. Here the offensive backs, Randy Wright, Troy King, Gary Ellerson was supposed to be the starting fullback, and Gary is now in the football game, and for a fullback, he is very quick. Third and ten, Wisconsin, their own 46-yard line. Ellerson, inside Kansas State territory. This is James Witherspoon, and he is dangerous. Low line drive. Witherspoon's going to watch it sail out of bounds. This one will start from their own 13-yard line. First man through. Darrell Dickey, the quarterback for Kansas State. Second and eight for the Wildcats. Fremo again as the penalty marker flies. He owns a five-yard pickup to the 20. Offsides is the call against Wisconsin. Mike Wallace is one. And Eric Mack, the other. The tailback, Fremo. Stood straight up. It'll be third down and a yard. Eric Mack, the flanker out wide to the right. Dickey on the quarterback sneak. First down. High formation for Kansas State's Wildcats. No score in the ball game. 9.55 to play in the first quarter. Fremo. Across the 25. And gang tackle there. High formation behind Daryl Dickey. The draw. And the penalty marker flies as Yossi Fremo gets a couple of yards. Eight. Holding is the call. Way to go, coach. Three. Now Daryl Dickey on second and 19 has Mack in motion. Dickey back to throw. Fremo out of the backfield with a block down the sidelines. Fremo to the 30. Across the 30. Wallace and Mack go out wide to the right. 
Primo and Tuluau in the eye formation behind Daryl Dickey. This is Primo. Short of a first down. There's a late hit in here. I, I really can't tell where the late hit is. It was there it is. There it is. They're on the pylon. Dickey with one set back, back to throw. He's got his tight end, Mike Cox, and I don't believe he held out of the field. One setback. The counter play inside Wisconsin territory to the 49. Getting the handoff and getting stood straight up is Greg Dagelford, who came in the game as a tailback. For Wisconsin, the deep man, John Justin, awaiting the punt by Fulhay. Gets short into the wind. Rolls inside the 30 and down at the 28. Wisconsin offensively on the right hash marks. Going from our left to our right. Wide side of the field is to the left. Ellerson in motion. And the pitch is to Troy King. And defensively right on top of the play. And in motion is Ellerson. Again it is Troy King. Gets across the 25 and near the 30. Mark Harrison is in at fullback for Wisconsin. In place of Ellerson. Randy Wright back to throw. Makes the connection at the 34-yard line. And the kicker, George Winslow. Running it away on fourth down with the wind, and this is a dandy. With a spoon at the 17. And down at the 24-yard line. Kansas State in a pro set. Daryl Dickey, the quarterback for the Wildcats. And the handoff to Mark Hundley. Second down and 10 after no gain. Long count by Dickey. This is Hundley, straight ahead, and met by the interior of the Wisconsin line. This Wisconsin team is shut out of Ohio State this year. they got a tough defense. Third down and nine for Dickey and company. Looking for Mack, he slipped. He was looking for Eric Mack. And get this away from about his 15-yard line. Into the wind, and he hangs it up there into that wind. Fair catch called for at the 47-yard line, behind Randy Wright, the quarterback for Wisconsin. A lot of movement on the Kansas State line, trying to draw him off. This is Ellerson. Second down and 10 for the Badgers. Wright wants to go up top. And it is almost intercepted by Will Coakley. Deep drop by Wright. Troy King out of the backfield to the 42-yard line, short of the first down, on the line of scrimmage. They might have hit the kicker as the ball goes into the end zone. With a minute and six to go first quarter, there is no score. The delay. Wallace, the burner, wide left. Hundley. Not much. So that is the end of the first quarter. But the score, Kansas State nothing, Wisconsin nothing, will return for the second quarter after these messages from your local station. Tony Brown in the game is a wide receiver, top of your screen. Play fake by Dickey. The screen was set up momentarily, and unfortunately the ball was thrown short. The returner. I snap, but he brings it down, hangs it up into that wind, and it sails as Keeling calls for a fair catch. It takes a Kansas State roll inside the 25. And down by the Badgers near the 20-yard line. After a 59-yard punt by Scott Fulhag, Wisconsin with the football at their own 21-yard line. Troy King looking for room. Gets good yardage, maybe three or four. Wait, Joseph Framer running back from K-State. Gary Ellison, fullback for Wisconsin, the ball carrier there. High formation for the Badgers on third and two, and contact will call a halt to it, which will give Wisconsin a first down. First and ten, Wisconsin, their own 32. The tailback King into the secondary to the 39-yard line. The call of second down and a long three for the Badgers. At their own 39-yard line. Again, it is King. This time, nowhere. Knifing through to make the play. Controlled passing game is third and four. Healing out wide to the left side. Let's go! 
play fake by Wright and dropping it on the far side was Gary Ellerson. Strong wind here tonight in Shreveport. High snap and a good play by Winslow to keep it down. Takes a lateral roll and will finally roll dead at around the 36-yard line of Kansas State. And Wallace and Witherspoon out wide to the left and now Dickey tells Witherspoon to go to the right in motion. Play fake by Dickey. He's got a man and it unfortunately couldn't hold on over to the second down and 10 Kansas State. 11-23 to play second quarter and no score. Dickey looking out of the backfield to Luo. The ball at the Kansas State 32, third down and 13 for the Wildcats. Dickey in trouble and he's out of it for the moment. 35, 40 to the 45 and taken out of bounds is Masi Taluo. First down play, Kansas State. Taluo inside the 45 in the second quarter. Second down and three, Kansas State at the 43. Primo falls on it alertly at the 49-yard line. Don't try to get up with a spoon out wide to the left. Wallace wide to the right. Dickey looking for Wallace. And almost picked off. Last one he got away was 57 yards. This one with the win. Line drive spiral heading for the end zone. Inside the five. And it hit the marker. It hit the post <laughs> right in the corner. But went into the end zone. First down play for Wisconsin. Ellerson fumbles the football, and I think Kansas State has recovered it inside the 20. Wade Wentling, I believe, has come up with a loose ball. He talked about being opportunistic. Kansas State is just that. First down play, Framo trying to turn the corner, and it's not to be tonight. Not on this kind of a field. A power eye set with Mack in motion. This is Framo to the near the 10. Third down and three play coming up for the Wildcats of Kansas State. Dickey wide open in the end zone, and he just couldn't hold on to it. 13 of 20 on the year. We'll have Daryl Dickey to hold. This one will be from the 19-yard line, a 29-yard kick. Plenty of distance. And Kansas State is on the board. They have drawn first blood with 7-10 to go, second quarter. The Wildcats lead it 3-0. He has about a 24-yard average on kickoff returns. This with the win. It is Ellerson at the 5. 15 to the 20. Gets pounded down at the 21-yard line by Bob Daniels. Twin receivers, bottom of your screen. This is Keeling, the man in motion. Troy King with room, 25. And ridden backwards at the 28-yard line, Ellerson, 5. Out of the eye, behind Randy Wright. A long count by the Wisconsin quarterback, quick drop. And an excellent reception at the 34-yard line. Straka goes out wide to the right side. Keeling in the slot to the right. First down play, Wisconsin. Wright's got a man open, and he overthrew him. It was intended for Straka. And a good look at Randy Wright, the junior quarterback out of St. Charles, Illinois. Play fake goes up top. And a great catch. 45, down to the 40, 35, and out of bounds at the 32-yard line with a great catch by David Keeling. Here's the on the move at the 32 of Kansas State. Williams, 25. What a move inside the 20 down to the 15-yard line. Dan Ruzik made the tackle. Here's knocking on the door at the 16 of Kansas State. Randy Wright looking for David Keeling. There's David Keeling out wide to the right. Wright is looking for Keeling, and he drills it over his head. And they have a third and 10 at the K-State 16-yard line. Under a rush, right into the end zone, and a diving catch, and he dropped it, but he held it long enough. I believe it was Michael Jones, number 82. I believe he had possession as he was in the end zone, he fumbled the ball. I hope we can see it. they have the safety bits to the outside. Gerald Morrow, you can't see it, but it's man-to-man -man coverage. He's one-on-one. -on -one. you got to beat that man. Look at that concentration. When you do that, you come up with touchdowns. Three for the extra point. There's a penalty marker down. 
on the extra point made on the ensuing kickoff. Oh, well, Wisconsin has taken the lead, also in that triangle. Wendell Gladden with the kickoff, and it is short. Taken by Pearl, 25, 30, and down there. Come on, Dan. 4.46 to play in the second quarter. There's a loose ball around the 32-yard line, and Wisconsin has recovered. They lead it 7-3, and they have the ball to the 32-yard line. Play fake by Randy Wright, going for the distance. Jeff Nault, the tight end. Right under a rush, throws, and again... A great hit in the secondary by Phil Switzer at the Kansas State 32-yard line. Out of a pro set. Deep drop by Randy Wright. This time, Nault holds onto it short of a first down. Go wide right. Keeling wide to the left. They're going for it on fourth and five, Wisconsin, from the K-State 27. And there's contact as the flags fly, and Randy Wright... He's going to tuck it underneath and go inside the 25 and down to the 22. Here would give them enough. We have 3.55 remaining in the first half and Wisconsin leading 7-3. Out of the I formation. And again a long count by Wright. John Williams. Up inside, still going. Finally slowed down, second down at about five for Wisconsin. The pitch to Williams. The sweep, trying to turn the corner. He goes inside the 15-yard line. They started this drive at the Kansas State 32. Inside handoff, looking for a first down. Jack Williamson, Tangerine, has Auburn and Boston College. Wisconsin is out of a power eye set, fourth down in a yard from the 12. Wright trying to draw him off, and Randy Wright, I believe, has a first down as he went up over the top. Seven first downs, they now have it first down at the Kansas State 11-yard line with two minutes remaining, first half, and the Badgers lead it 7-3. First man through, the fullback, Ellerson. They have it at the six-yard line of Kansas State. Williams, the tailback there, will look at Strucker. It is Williams inside the five to the four. They dig it in deep. Third down and three, Wisconsin with 38 seconds to play in the first half. And the clock is moving. Penalty, Marcus Fly, Wisconsin looks like they might have taken too much time. Third down and eight for the Badgers. At the nine yard line of Kansas State, the clock is moving with 14 seconds to play. Wright has room to run. Now throws it into the end zone and deflected at the last moment. From 27 yards away, and I think he shanked it. It's off to the right. He becomes a genius. Coach Dickey becomes a genius. Well, Daryl Dickey will probably just mark off the three seconds and go down on one knee, and that will draw to a close the end of the first half of this 1982 Independence Bowl football game. With the score, Wisconsin 7, Kansas State 3. That's the end of the second quarter. This is Television Sports USA, the Miss Lou Television Network. Miss Lou. This half, this quarter, they'll be going to the wind of their back, Kansas State will, and kicking it into the end zone about five yards deep. Gary Ellerson watches it go through the end zone. And an eye formation behind Randy Wright, the quarterback for the Wisconsin Badgers. And Troy King gets the call, turns the corner, 25, 30. And what would appear to be a first down. Get holding call, or legal use of the hands call, I, my, I stand corrected against Kansas State. First down, Wisconsin at their own 35-yard line with a wide side of the field to the right. Inside handoff, Ellerson trying to go someplace, picked up maybe three yards. Randy Wright, a lot of poise. You have to have that kind of poise to be a quarterback. The pitch to Troy King, maybe two yards or three before Phil Switzer, the right of Wisconsin, leading it 7-3. to three. Twin receivers to the left side, Keeling and Straka. 
Wright looking to throw. Scott Keeling in, West, in Kansas State territory and popped out of bounds at the 48. First down play, Badgers. K-State showing blitz. Up inside to John Williams to the 45. Mark Newton, the middle guard. Mark Harrison in at fullback with John Williams, the tailback. And it is Williams who gets the call for a yard. And third down and six, Wisconsin at the 44 of Kansas State. Backfield is split, and back to throw goes Randy Wright. For Keeling, and the defender fell down, and a big break for Kansas State. Fist it. Winslow hits it. It is short. Fair catch called for, and a diving fair catch at the 16. It's a holiday ball on Friday night in San Diego. Darrell Dickey. Ball and quit sliding around. I think we'll be all right out there. Dickey to the 20, to the 23 yard line. Chase down as twin receivers out wide to the left side. Mack and Wallace and a third and three. A pitch to Framo, 26 yard line, close to a first down. Haven't gone to him much thus far in the ball game. Dickey running out of trouble. Has some yardage to the 35. Close to a first down. Jim Melka. The slot formation. The one setback to Luol across the 40 and a first down. First and 10 for Kansas State at their own 41-yard line. Into the secondary and near the 50-yard line. Now they're running the ball at him. Dickey back to throw. In trouble. And it is almost intercepted. Almost. That is Mack in motion. A third and one play. Penalty markers fly. Dick Burleson, the referee, is with the wind. It was back. Daryl Dickey may look to crank it up here. Quick drop and deflected at the line of scrimmage and waiting the snap. Scott Bullhag with the wind to his back. Going down on one knee at the 13-yard line. A first and 10, Wisconsin at their own 13-yard line. Randy Wright to the 25 and down the field. He could be going for the distance. Tim Straka is going to go in for six. Unbelievable. 87 yards. It looked so easy to pass just a quick look in, and he went the distance. For a touchdown reception, the extra point by Kevin Rohde is good. And Wisconsin has gone up now. They have increased the count to 14-3 to with 7.39 to play. Third quarter here at the 82 Independence Bowl. No return for more third quarter action. With the score 14-3, Wisconsin in a moment. Wendell Gladham will kick off for Wisconsin. A squibber picked up at the 20-yard line and running into the 33-yard line. I don't know, my uh, calf started cramping up. I didn't know if I was going to make it in there. See, so I'm so tired from this week. We had a good time and everything. I didn't know if I was going to make it in. I started getting really tired. Had a good time here this week. He didn't know whether he could make it all the way. <laughs> we'll call it now first and 19 for Kansas State out of a pro set. They may very well have to come up throwing here. Daryl Dickey looking to put it up top for Wallace, who makes his first catch of the day to the 38. In front of Brian Merrill, their own 38-yard line. The draw, the Framo to the 40. They'll say, hi, Mom. Framo again. This time he has a first down, I believe. But the field is very soft. Dickey play fake. Looking for Tony Brown. He threw it intended for Matsi Taluau. Second and ten for Kansas State at their own 43-yard line. Dickey over the middle. Wallace with the reception to the 42 of Wisconsin. First down play. K-State out of the eye. The pitch to Framo. Puts his head down as he goes inside the 40. Mike Wallace with two receptions thus far, all in this drive, second and eight play, Dickey unloads and makes the connection at the 25-yard line. They're going to double him now, first and ten. Play fake by Dickey, looking for Wallace in the end zone, incomplete. 
Second down and 10 for Kansas State at the 25-yard line of Wisconsin. Framo inside the 25 to about the 22-yard line. Third and seven, Kansas State at the 22 of Wisconsin. Dickey in trouble. Into the end zone, and it is intercepted by Matt Vandenboom. Now you know why this young man is highly regarded around the country. For and so the Badgers go on offense, leading 14-3. Troy King to the 24. Second down and six for the Badgers from their own 24-yard line. John Williams, good block down at the 29, but Mark Harrison put on a good block at their own 29-yard line. With two minutes to play, third quarter, fumble, and Kansas State has the football. I believe when Kansas State is back in business. Framo wrapped up at the line of scrimmage. Eric Mack, the wide receiver, number 88. The draw. And not much. Third down and eight. For the Wildcats. Dickey has his receiver slipped down. Tony Brown was the intended receiver. Dickey looking for six to Wallace. Incomplete. They're screaming pass interference, and Wallace and Brian Marrow are mixing it up. First and ten Badgers, their own 27-yard line. Troy King, nowhere. Ran right into... That is the end of the third quarter. With the score, Wisconsin Badgers 14, the Kansas State Wildcats 3. will return to the fourth quarter of the Independence Bowl right after we pause for these messages. Second down and 10. They lead it 14 to 3. Straka out wide to the right. Long count by Randy Wright. Short drop. Fires it looking for Straka. Wisconsin in a pro set, third and ten, their own 27-yard line. A draw to Ellerson. 30. Penalty markers go down. Ellerson still fighting. Brings it back to the 22-yard line, holding against Wisconsin. Again, a long count by junior signal caller Randy Wright. Quick drop. Quarterback draw. I don't know if it was intended to be that. But they're coming. Winslow gets it away. Witherspoon, fair catch, and it takes a Wisconsin roll. Ball's dead at the 19-yard line, a 62-yard punt. First and 10, Kansas State at their own 19-yard line after a 62-yard punt by George Winslow. Dickey under a rush. Dumps it off, intended for Framo. And 13-28 to play, and Wisconsin leading at 14-3. Dickey stumbles, but holds his feet. Dumps it off to Luau. Breaks the tackle, 25-30, down to the 33-yard line. Run it. Well, well, unfortunately for Kansas State, it's going to nullify. Dickey knowing he's got to put it up into the wind. The rush is on, he gets free. Gets Daggerford out of the backfield, and he is wrapped at the 24-yard line. Eric Mack inside Wallace, also out to the right. The draw to Daggerford. To the line of scrimmage, and that's all. You've had a uh, running battle with officials of all kind in every sport, and, and you've come out on top. Well, you know, I guess that's so biz, really. My bird's eye view has a an Into the wind, and, and it hangs up. Fair catch called for at the 45-yard line. First down play for the Wisconsin Badgers. Straka out wide to the right side. The pitch to King. Taken down from behind at the 46-yard line. Second and eight from their own 46-yard line. Randy Wright looking, throwing, and connecting at the 40-yard line with David Keeling. Randy Wright now is 9 of 21 for 185 yards. The end around. And broken up. Michael Jones, the runner. Second and 18, Wisconsin from the 48-yard line of Kansas State. Randy Wright under a rush over the middle, and it was almost intercepted by Stu Peters. 
and a third and 18 play for Wisconsin from the 48 of Kansas State. Blitz on and Williams with room to the 40. 35 slides out of bounds short of a first down. Fourth and two Wisconsin at the 32 of Kansas State. The Wildcats with an eight man front. Fumble picked up by Kansas State. But they're going to bring it back. Unfortunately, Phil Switzer, who is a speed demon, picked it up. And it's going to be Kansas State's ball at their own 40. You can't uh, advance the fumble when you're on the defense. At their own 40-yard line with 9.35 to play, and they're down 14-3. Daryl Dickey out of the backfield to Dagaford. Leaps into Wisconsin territory. You know, you want Kansas State with three receivers to the left. Dickey going for over the middle, looking for his tight end. They lead it 14-3. Second down play. Dickey rolling to his left, throws it, completed the 45, and down to the 37-yard line. First and 10 for Kansas State at the 37 of Wisconsin. The wide side of the field is to the right. Dickey looking to go just that way. Out of the backfield and taking a pop was Greg Dagaford. Second and seven play. Dickey chased out of the pocket and looking for help. Floats it down the sideline and it was almost intercepted. Comes in and just knocks the ball out of bounds. Good play by Eric Bailey. Bailey turning defender from receiver. Third and seven, Kansas State at the 34. Dickey looking. Off the intended receiver's hands. Well, then you can call me dad again, huh? Uh, fourth and seven play and Dickey under fire. Unloads it to nobody. And he, although he's only 9 of 22, that is for 185 yards. First and 10 play, and Randy Wright. The handoff to John Williams. Slashing tight runner. Gets a couple of yards, and it's second down and six, Wisconsin. At their own 38-yard line, they lead it 14 to 3 with 7.15 to play. Straight ahead handoff up inside to the 46-yard line. Jim Bob Morris... First and 10, Wisconsin at their own 46-yard line. The clock continues to move, and so does Gary Ellerson inside Kansas State territory to the 49-yard line. Again, up inside, Ellerson spinning and cutting his way to yardage inside the 45. Straka to the right. The handoff to John Williams. Inside the 40 and thrown back there. Up inside to Ellerson. Now to the 37-yard line, Dan Ruzik. The 350 remaining, and they trail it 14-3. Wisconsin with the ball, third and five. Williams, short of a first down. State showing a 10-man front. The rush is on, and Winslow gets it away. Just drives it into the end zone. And so with three minutes and one second to play. What? Oh, they're calling Kansas State. It's a Kansas State penalty, so it's Wisconsin with the football at the 22-yard line. It's a 15-yard penalty against Kansas State. And a first down play for Wisconsin. Ellerson picking his way inside the 20. The blitz is on, and Randy Wright unloads as he was unloaded upon by Vic Coding. Third and six, Wisconsin at the 19 of Kansas State with 2.18 to play. And a quarterback sack is registered by Stu Peters of Randy Wright, setting up a fourth down. That's a good call to keep them deep in their own territory if they, if they fail to make it. A fourth and four play for Randy Wright of the Badgers. He's looking to go upstairs with it. Has his arm hit as he gets rid of it and you know that Daryl Dickey's going to air it out Dickey out of the backfield to Pete Brown who has just come in the game and he is tripped up the clock continues to move one minute to go in the game pass intended for Tony Brown is incomplete third and nine play coming up Dickey back to throw over the middle Tipped up into the air, intended for Tony Brown. It'll be fourth down with 51 seconds to play. Scott Fulhay does punt it away. It hits at the 45, takes a K-State roll inside the 50 to the 47-yard line. 
Wisconsin going with their number two quarterback and a mishandled snap from center John Lonchar. Six seconds, five, four, three. Handoff up inside. That'll be the last play of the game. The handoff to Gerald Green, a senior. And that will conclude the Independence Bowl football game.